Yeah. What does your uh, staff look like in the wholesaling business? It's pretty lean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I first started cold calling, right? So it was just me. I was the one man army. Uh, my my mother and my father were were there, but they were also wrapping up their business in Phoenix. And so I had started a business in Boise and my business overtook that business that they were running in Phoenix. And so that I called them for assistance. So think of my dad, like the wizard of Oz, he's the one pulling the data. He's the one making sure or handling the skip tracing companies and all that uh, good stuff. And then my mom was more, uh, the second level of defense. Let's comp these out. Let's make sure these deals are good. Maybe the first line of calling them and, and kind of finding out if they're serious and then the torch would be passed to me. Uh, so we ran that way for about a year and a half and I got it to the point where I didn't want to do it anymore. I had focused on flipping at that time. And so I created a team of about five people. We had a, a still pretty lean, but we had a, a pretty tenacious uh, callers. We were cold call heavy at the time and some SEO, uh, but um, we just got the deals done and then I would go out and acquisition those. And then I slowly got an acquisition manager and such. And so now I have two acquisition managers, both part-time. Um, and then I handle a lot of the deal flow. But the one thing is, is that that company does do some cold calling and it is SEO friendly. So we have leads coming in consistently through SEO, but the majority of our, our stuff is for net from networking, just just my name and knowing that I can close, you know, your intro brings in the private money situation. And if people know you can close and you got no issues on funds, whether it's a million dollar house or a $200,000 house or a $50,000 house, uh, they'll call you if they want a quick, clean transaction. And so I get, I get a lot of calls. I have feelers out pretty much everywhere. So.